Homo habilis, handyman. A second group of hominids was discovered by the husband and wife team of Lewis and Mary Leakey. When the Leakeys were searching for evidence of early hominids in Africa, they discovered some hominid bones. The bones were scattered among artifacts that looked like tools. The Leakeys named their discovery Homo habilis, or handyman, in honor of this group's ability to make tools. Handyman lived a little closer to our time than Lucy did. About 1 to 1.5 to 2 million years ago. Like Lucy, this group combined ape and human features. They also walked on two feet, which means they were biped as well. Uh, they were taller than Lucy. Their features were slightly more human-like, and their brains were twice the size of Lucy's. Scientists have discovered handyman remains only in Africa. Sometimes the bones of more than one handyman were found together. It is likely that these hominids lived in groups. This would have helped them to survive. They would have been able to work together to protect themselves against animal attacks. They also could have collected food over larger areas of land. The tools found by the Leakeys were an important clue about this hominid group. Their larger brains and their ability to use tools were key differences between handyman and hominids like Lucy. These traits show that handyman was more advanced and more like modern humans than Lucy was. Handyman's tools were very simple. These hominids used animal bones as digging sticks and rocks as chopping tools. They also made sharp pieces of stone for cutting. Making a tool, even a very simple one, takes thought and effort. First, the hominid need, had to think about what kind of tool was needed. Then, they had to plan how to make it. Finally, they had to craft the tool themselves and try it out and see if it worked. Handyman may have even passed these early skills on to others. The ability to make tools helped Handyman live better and longer than Lucy and early hominids like her. The use of cutting tools allowed these later hominids to tear the meat from dead animals. Crushing tools may have helped them crack animal bones to eat the marrow inside. Handyman hominids may even have dug or made traps for small animals.